Welcome to the Data Hall YouTube channel. So we have started a series of lectures on how do we perform dummy variable regression in Stata. And there are different topics that we have covered in this series. We start with the single categorical variable, then we move on to multiple categorical variables in regression. We discussed if we had a categorical and a continuous variable. Then we started this uh, interaction variables where we discussed in our previous video how do we uh, perform an interaction between a categorical and a continuous variable, its margins, and we also discussed about the interpretations. In this video, we're going to talk about the interaction between two categorical variables. So let's move to our topic, that is the interaction between two categorical variables. We are going to import this data, which is sample data, and let me show you the data. We are using this data for past couple of videos. So we have over here uh, different individuals, their salaries, age, marks, uh, gender, and education. This gender and education is a categorical variable. And as you can see from its blue color, they are coded. So this is not a string variable, rather it had been encoded. And we have already discussed how do we encode these variables in our previous videos. So let's move uh, towards the regression. But before we understand that, let me give you some idea of uh, what we are going to do. So we have over here our education variable, which is a categorical variable. We have four different categories, that is primary education, secondary education, uh, bachelor's and master's. And we have over here our dependent variable, which is salary. Now. We, we, what we hypothesize is that there is an impact of education on salary. Let's just say as we in, uh, uh, move on the uh, increase, the education, the salary would increase. Now, uh, let's say we, we introduce another variable that is gender and that is a moderator variable. And what does a moderator variable would mean over here? Now, what moderator variable does is it uh, it either changes the direction of the relationship between the independent and the dependent variable. So it do not impact a variable directly, rather it changes the, uh, you know, it impacts the relationship between the two variables. So either it uh, changes the direction. So let's just say if education had a positive impact, uh, this gender would uh, convert that into a negative impact. Or let's just say um, it would we would have a different slope for education uh, for different genders. What I'm trying to say is that this education's impact on salary would vary for uh, for different genders. So its impact would not be same across gender. That is what we are trying to say is that gender moderates the relationship between education and salary. So how do we perform that regression, that interaction between two categorical variable in Strata? We use the regress command then the dependent variable, and we are going to specify our independent variables. So I have used this underscore ski E, let me just remove that because I've changed the variable names. Okay, so now it looks good. Okay, so, um, so we have this gender variable, which is a categorical variable and education, which is also a categorical variable. Let me just quickly show you the uh, different categories of gender and then different categories of education. Uh, so it is a categorical variable, right? Uh, now, how do we perform an interaction? We use this double pound sign, right? And that would include the main effect and as well as uh, the interaction term, the multiplication of this these two variables. So if I execute this regression, uh, it would perform the regression. It would include the main variable, which is gender, the education, uh, and then the multiplication of these two variables, that is the interaction term. Now, it might be difficult to understand uh, what these results would mean from this table. Uh, that's why margins and margins plot are a great way of uh, interpreting these results. So let's generate margins. Uh, we use this margins command, and then we specify both the variables. Remember, in this case, we are using this pound sign. Uh, and that means there is an interaction. So what it would do is it would generate these margins and uh, what that would mean is that predicted value for a female, uh, predicted salary for a female uh, with a primary education, predicted salary for a female with a secondary education, predicted again salary for a female with a bachelor education and that goes uh, say 
similarly for uh, for mail so it would generate uh, predicted values for all the interaction of these categories right so we had two gender categories for education categories we should have eight predicted values so now we are going to plot them in the margin plot we just use the margins plot command and that would generate a graph now this graph doesn't look quite good we have male on uh, gender on x axis and our uh, education is given using different lines a better idea would be if we have uh, this education on x axis for that we are going to use this x dimension and specify the variable that we want on our x axis i'm also going to remove this confidence intervals right the 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 confidence interval you see in the graph and i'm also going to remove these circles uh, so i would just have a line uh, let me execute this command and that would give us uh, a graph that can be interpreted so what we are saying over here this blue line stands for female and this red line is for male so we can see that uh, if uh, so in in primary level of education uh, if 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 persons uh, or individuals have primary level of education um male earns lesser as compared to females but in all other cases male would earn higher as compared to female and that that difference between the salary of male and female is highest uh at the secondary level of education now this all is hypothetical data and does it have to do anything with with the real life real life scenarios uh so uh so you no know, this this these graphs or these results might not make any economic sense but we just uh, have to understand how to execute that in stata so i hope that was useful in our next video we are going to talk about the interaction between two continuous variables so thanks for watching this video stay tuned to the channel